In this video, we'll take a look at adding and subtracting radicals. So similar to algebra in the fact that we can combine like terms. So for instance, if you have 4x and 3y and 7x take away a y, you can find like terms and you can combine those together. So 4x and 7x is 11x and then there's some more like terms, these y's, and so 2 is the result of 3y take away a y, and so you get 11x plus 2y. Similarly, with radicals, we can combine what we call like radicals. And like radicals are when we have the exact same radical part. So for instance, if we have two root 5s and another 10 root 5s, these are exactly the same radical part, so we get a combined total of 2 plus 10, which is 12, and that stays the same root 5. Very similar to what we see in algebra with like terms. If you have uh, the square root of 2 plus the square root of 5, these are not like terms because those radical parts are different, and so they cannot be simplified, and we just write the same answer out again, or write cannot be simplified any further. Sometimes you get things that look like they have different radicals when in fact they don't really have different radicals. So here it looks like these aren't like radicals. There's a square root of 20 and a square root of 5. But we have learned in the past that sometimes radicals can be simplified. So this square root 20 is really the same as, say, a square root 4 times a square root 5. And by simplifying this first radical, this uh, square root 4 is equal to 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 root 5s. And minus 4 root 5s, you get a final answer of 2 root 5s. So although it looks like, to start with, these are not like radicals, when you do some simplification, it turns out that they are actually like radicals. So our ability to simplify radicals is certainly going to help us in this section. Let's take a look at one more example. If I have 4 and then cube root of 32 minus 2 cube root of 108, this is a fairly difficult example. Here again it looks like I've got cube roots that are different, not like radicals, but I do have to ask myself, can I simplify these? So a perfect cube would be 8 and that would leave over another cube of 4. So this 32 can be 8 and 4, and I pick one that works out nicely. This part works out nicely to be 2, so this is really 4 times 2 times the cube root of 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8 cube root of 4. And on this other part, I'll do the other part in red, I've got minus 2, and now I need to break down the cube root of 108, which is quite difficult to do, so um, if you need to grab a calculator and think about how to break it down, I mean if you just put cube root 108 into your calculator it may or may not work, in this case it doesn't, it gives decimal places, but uh, you could guess numbers like 8 is a perfect cube, but that only goes in 13.5 times, you want it to be a nice regular number. Um, the next perfect cube that you might want to try is the one that results in the answer of 3, which is 27. And if you take 108 and divide it into 27 and the cube root of 4, you get some really nice numbers uh, that work out nicely. So this piece here is equal to 3, so I get minus 2 times 3 times the cube root of 4, which is minus 6 the cube root of 4. And so now I have like radicals. So 8 of that radical, cube root 4, minus 6 of that same, 8 minus 6 is 2. And the radical is the cube root of 4. And that's all for today.